Good morning. Welcome to school today. I hope you had a great weekend and stayed dry yesterday and were nice to your moms or your grandmoms or whoever you live with. So let's get our day started by standing for the pledge and then we'll finish with the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Let's see what we're having for lunch today. Today we're having chicken patty. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It is the 5th of May, uh, Monday. What? Why did I say 5th? I don't know why I said 5th. Because it's the 5th month, 10th day. That's probably what I'm thinking of. It's the 10th of May. I'm looking right at the 10th. I don't know what that was about. Uh, we're having chicken patty on a bun with tater tots and corn. And let's see who's celebrating a birthday on the 10th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is Michaela Brown's birthday. And it is also Amalia Gerling's birthday. It is Micah Olson's birthday. So actually several birthdays today. Happy birthday, happy birthday. All right, let's see here. Our manner of the week is when you go to somebody's house before you leave, you should always thank their parents or who they live with and thank them for having you. Even if you go like to your grandmother's or something, it's always nice to say, thanks for having me over, okay? All right, so we still have two full weeks of regular stuff. This week is K-Prep. Um, and so it's really important that we stay in our mindset of being in school, okay? Doing our work, doing it well, all of that kind of stuff. And then we'll be doing some fun stuff like field day and talent show and awards day in just a little bit. But until then, we really, really have to work super, super hard, okay? All righty, let's see. I think I only have one shout out today. Oh, and uh, Kona Ice is not until next week, actually, I think. I think it's next week anyway. So shout out to all the girls who danced at Miss Mindy's um, classical dance studio this weekend. Great job, you guys. Um, I was able to, to pop in for just a little bitty bit, but I got to see um, several of our folks. Um, we're super proud of all those dancers out there. Great, great job. All right, and a couple of jokes from Lakin in Miss Miller's room. Why did the teacher marry the janitor? Because he swept her off her feet. <laughs> And what kind of music do frogs like? They like hip hop. I thought that was a cute one. And then let's see here. Um, whom did the bug's uncle marry? His aunt, A-N-T. Uh, let's see. Um, what was the shredder's distant grandmother called? You know those things that your mom uses in the kitchen and it shreds things up? It's his great, great, great grandmother, G-R-A-T-E. That's a play on words. And what were the three little kittens who lost their mittens? They were cold. They were cold. They were cold. All right. Say the, oops, that was the papers. Say the Red Oak Expectations with me. Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves and that you are always kind here, there, and everywhere. I want our Red Oak folks to be known for that. And remember, please, that the hallways are silent places, bathrooms are silent places, and you don't take a pencil any place near the bathroom, okay? All those things. Do your work. Do it well. We'll see you back here in the morning. Love you guys. <laughs> 